Selecting members. When you select dimension members from the point of view, you're selecting one member at a time. So we can navigate up the hierarchy and then we can navigate down the hierarchy. And it's good practice to use these little blue arrows to navigate down the hierarchy. However, when you're selecting members, you can still select the labels and you can see it keeps ticking the member and showing the children as you select the parents. So I've actually selected USA there, potentially by mistake, and I can carry on drilling down and you can see we get to the bottom level eventually and I can choose Massachusetts. So that's okay when we're only selecting one member, but there are instances where you need to be careful to choose the specific entities and there are options to choose multiple entities. For example, running an intercompany matching report you select the entities that you want to run the report for. Similarly, when you run a consolidation, you can choose the entity to consolidate. However, you do need to navigate using the arrows. If you don't, you see you're choosing the parents to consolidate as you're actually navigating down. So you can see here, I've got a rather large consolidation structure here and I can just remove all and then obviously navigate down the structure choosing the appropriate member that I'd like to consolidate. So when you're selecting members and you have the choice to select multiples, just be careful to navigate down the structure using the blue arrows because selecting the label is actually selecting the member. So you could potentially be running a rather large intercompany matching report or running a larger consolidation than you may be anticipated.